right, the next project, a hand throttle control kit from Terraflex, which kind of, they're the only ones that really have a kit. You could probably do this on your own, but um, there's the kit number and uh, all the pieces. And I will say the coolest thing about this, every one of these, if it's the right way, Every one of these is labeled with what's in the package. I mean, how often does that happen? So you got uh, labeling for what it is. It's going to make it uh, that much easier. You don't see that too from too many manufacturers, do you? So um, all the pieces. Uh, this is something I've been thinking about doing um, with my little four-cylinder when I get in the uh, rocks or something uh, a little more difficult. Um, it, you need three feet, you know, you need to, so, uh, this uh, allows you to have your foot on the brake in the clutch and, uh, also be able to control the throttle at the time, same time. The other thing I found is you bounce on a rock and your foot bounces around and throttle speed changes and then you end up wanting to push the clutch. And so I'm hoping this will make things a little smoother for me and, uh, hopefully not too difficult a project. So, uh, it's got good instructions. It looks like, so, uh, we'll see how this goes. So the very first thing you got to do is remove the shift knob uh, in order to put on the hand throttle because it's going to get mounted right here so you can grab it while you're holding on to the shifter. This is done with a, this is a locking nut right here on the bottom. So what you do is, this mine looks pretty bottomed out, so you just hold that steady and then unscrew the knob and then uh, you can screw this off and then we can slip on the items. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully I don't have to chew this thing up too bad to get it off. All right, so what I was able to do is actually take, uh, what is this, a 19? A 19, it fits right on the uh, underside uh, little piece. I was able to tighten that. So you want to screw that clockwise to pull it away from the bottom and then this just screwed right off. came up pretty easy and then you can come back and screw this off all right so there's this little rubber bushing you got to shove over the top of the shift lever um, but this is smaller on the inside than it is on the one side so um, this seems to be the right size to fit on because this will go on and then once you get onto the smooth part I think it's a little bit larger so that'll fit good but obviously that little tiny hole isn't going to fit so um, got to ream that out with a drill I guess and make this a, the right size. Alright so I got the rubber piece on. I used a 5 8 inch drill bit to ream that out um, and that got it to just about the right size and then I used a little uh, silicone lubricant and that allowed me to get over the little hump and on here nice and snug. So first step down. Alright so this is the actual little lever it's kind of just like a lever off of a you know 10-speed bicycle or something for changing gears so we're gonna put this over the rubber gasket um, and that's what will hold it on there and all right then, so uh, i got the uh, clip on here the little metal clip goes around the rubber gasket mine was a little out of round so i had to twist it a little bit tweak it to get it to go on there but it's on there now and uh got you set it up so that the cable is down here on the bottom to point down that way you can get it out and uh, now you can put the knob back on. All right, so now we come down inside the engine bay for the other connection. And it's going to be on this bracket right here. So here's your throttle cable, comes through this bracket. The next thing I gotta do is drill a hole in the side of this so it can mount a little bracket and it can run through to the throttle um, little you know, thing back down underneath here to the actual throttle body. So this is, uh, you drill into this side right here, and then there's a little L bracket, and we'll mount the cable to it. So I'm not quite sure how, maybe I can go underneath this, you can figure that out, and I'll drill a little hole there. All right, so one of the unique things, you've got the cable is separate from the cover, which I thought was a little odd at first, but then I uh, just realized through the instructions. So this has a fixed uh, little nub on one end, and it's open on the other, obviously, so you can feed it through. Um, what you do is you feed this entire cable through the, um, handle on your shift lever and then this uh, fixes into the end of it so you don't have anything sticking out or whatever and then uh, with the rubber over the top of this you feed it through the firewall out in the engine and then we'll fix it onto the throttle so we'll work on that next
there's a rubber gasket it, through your firewall just right behind this, um, which is an easy one to get to actually. So I'm thinking that's what I'll go through, but uh, I'll get this fed through here and uh, we'll move on to the next step. That's the spot where it's going to come out. That's a really great little spot. You can see it right there, right behind the engine, driver's side, middle, straight shot from the shifter. Comes right through pretty easy to reach too. So you pull all that through and now we'll set it up on the bracket. Right. So the instructions were not super clear on this part. I think I got it figured out. So you, you've got the hole drilled in the side of the bracket. This is your throttle cable. You got this hole here. I think this was for uh, cruise control. Obviously don't have. So you mount this the L bracket on the inside uh, with this kind of on this side. Now the thing that I probably messed up on, I should have drilled this hole much higher on the bracket because as I look at it and back up, I kind of get lined up here. Get that out of the way. Get lined up. I can get that lined up so the cable will be able to go straight in, but I think it's a little low for where it needs to attach here in the back. I think the angles are going to be okay. I'm going to check them out and make sure. But um, if you're doing this, you're going to want to drill this maybe a half inch down from the top. I'm um, like maybe an inch. So we'll see how this lines up. All right, sure enough. Once I got down into this thing, I definitely had to remount it. So there's my original hole. I moved this up. This works much better. The alignment is much straighter and straight right back to that, which is where you're connecting the cable. I had just enough of a bend where you could tell it was going to wear and be a problem. So one little note, only about a half an inch or so down from the top and uh, you should be good. The hole here on the front, there's plenty of room to work with. So now uh, you just got to connect up the cable and get it nice and snug and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so the instructions, uh, I'd say so-so. Uh, they have some good pictures that eventually you can figure it out the more you look at it. Uh, tools wise, you just need a few little wrenches, nothing too special. This would probably be the only thing you need that's special for crimping the little uh, aluminum crimp on the wire to make the loop at the end. If you don't have one of these, it's a little difficult uh, to get that the lock down. Um, but uh, overall, not a difficult project. Take a little patience, uh, get that screw. Um, in the right spot so it lines up straight and uh, you can get this done in not too much time at all. So uh, I'm going to go out and drive it and see how it does now and uh, hopefully it works okay. Alright so I'm in the Jeep and uh, put it in neutral. Watch the little tack. One little click. Jump almost 800-900 RPM. Right back down. When I, very, when I first did it, I'm, I tightened it up a little too much and the RPMs weren't coming down, so the cable was restricting it. Um, you know, it was just a little too snug. So I loosened it back up a little bit and uh, now it seems to be working now out. Four-wheel drive, you can just idle long, but with this four-cylinder, it just doesn't quite idle enough. Touch it up just enough, just a click. And I can control it really smoothly. Pretty smooth, it seems. With just the hand throttle, foot's not even on the gas. Making my little crawl through the neighborhood. So I think this is going to be pretty handy when you get into the tight stuff. 